In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this little Christmas card using Python code. So all we're doing is drawing a little gift and writing a little message that says Seasons Greetings above it. So let's get started by jumping into our Python editor. And the first thing I'm going to do today is write from Turtle, import the asterisk, which is just saying we're going to import all of the functions from the Turtle module, which will allow us to draw on the screen using code. Uh, now to begin with, I'm going to set my speed to zero. That's just my drawing speed. So I want it to draw at the quickest speed possible. I don't want to sit around and watch the turtle draw my shapes today. So we'll um, set that speed to zero. Now the first thing I want to set up is the background. So I'm going to put in a comment here that says background. And I'm going to move to a new set of coordinates by lifting my pen up off the page. And I'm going to go to 0 on the x-axis and minus 300 on the y-axis. That's going to take us down towards the bottom of the page. Once there, we're going to put our pen back down, ready for drawing. And we're going to set our color to green. Uh, we're going to turn our fill color on by writing begin fill. And we're going to draw a circle that is 300 steps or pixels um, in radius. And once we've done that, we can just end the fill. So that is going to draw for us a large green circle that fills up a good chunk of the page. If we just save our code here, we can call this gift or present, what are you going to call it, and give it a run. You can see the big green circle. So it started down here at minus 300 on the y-axis, drew a big circle, and ended up finishing down there at minus 300 on the y-axis as well. So that's a good start. Now inside of there, we want to draw this gift. So I'm going to start by drawing the lid on the gift, this red rectangle. And then below that, I'm going to draw this, I guess, more of a squarey kind of shape. So let's go back to our code here. And as I said, we'll start with the lid on the gift. So I'll just write um, lid on gift for my comment. Let's press enter to give myself a bit of space here. And what we're going to do is lift our pen up and go to some coordinates. We're going to go to minus 180 on the x-axis, which pushes us over to the left-hand side of the page. And we're going to go up the y-axis 20 steps as well, so just a little bit up from halfway. Uh, once there, we'll put our pen back down ready for drawing. And we're going to set our color to red for our gift box today. Um, we'll turn our fill color on just to tell the computer we are going to color in this shape. And I'm going to use a loop to draw this rectangle. So that's just going to be a 4i in range 2. That just says we're going to repeat the following lines of code that are indented two times. The first part of the rectangle is just going forward. Oops, 360 steps. We chuck a, a 90 degree left turn after that and then go forward 60 steps up the short side. And then just turn left 90 degrees one more time. That should draw us our red rectangle. Don't forget to jump outside of that loop and end the fill off as well. So if you get that around, you'll get your green circle and there's the top of your gift. Next thing we'll do is the bottom of the gift. So the main part of the present. So coming down, I'll put a comment in that says bottom of gift. And like before, we'll do our pen up and go to some new coordinates. This time minus 160 on the x-axis, 0 on the y-axis. So we're over to the left-hand side of the page, but still in the middle. Um, so once there, pen goes down to say we're ready to start drawing. We don't need to set the color to red as it's already been set above. So we can just turn our fill on now, begin fill. And we'll do the same little loop again, so for i in range 2. I guess it is a kind of rectangle shape we're doing here again. We'll go forward 320 to start with and turn right 90 degrees this time. And then we'll go forward 210 and turn right 90. And that's our second rectangle all done. So that's the bottom section of the GIF just there. Let's give it a run, just have a quick look at it. Okay, so far so good. Now the next bit we want to do is put these green lines that come through it, just to section it off, I suppose. So, um, popping down a little bit lower, 
let's just say a comment that says green line through middle of gift and we'll do that pen up and go to the coordinates of minus 10 and 80 put our pen down once there and set our color to green for this line we'll begin the fill and do for I in range 2 again as we're drawing a skinny green rectangle this time we only go forward 20 before we turn right 90 degrees and then go forward oops, 290 so we're going to move down the page 290 steps and then turn right 90 degrees before ending our fill and that should draw, draw us a green line through the middle of the gift uh, I've got to press the play button for that to work. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, we already had that one through there sectioned off, so that's basically the gift section done. What we want to do now is little ribbons on top. This is where it gets a little bit tricky. So as you can see, we've got these loops to contend with here, which does make life a bit difficult, but just bear with me and you'll see how it's done. We'll start with the left-hand side of the ribbon, so I'll just write left ribbon. And we'll go to the coordinates we need by lifting our pen up and then going to 10 on the x-axis and 100 on the y-axis. Put the pen down once there. And we're going to change our pen size to something a little bit thicker. We're going to go up to size 10. Uh, now we need to change our color back here to red. It was just set to green previously, so back on red. And we're going to do a loop here that goes for I in range... 90. Now that seems like a fairly large number. We're going to repeat something 90 times. Uh, but when you see what we do, you can see why that number is so big. All we're going to do to do this loop on the ribbon is move forward one step at a time. Okay, so it's going to be pretty slow going now. We're going to be looping around 90 times just to go forward once, or one step, and we're going to turn left 0 0.4 degrees. Okay, so it's quite accurate to get this loop, but just watch what happens when I run this. You can see it's just moving one step and turning left by 0 0.4 degrees, and it did that 90 times just to draw that little section of the line. So it's pretty intricate what we're doing here. Now to do the next part of the loop on the ribbon, we need to create another 4i in range, which is another loop, and we'll repeat this one 90 times as well. We're going to go forward one step again, but this time we're going to make the turn a little bit sharper at two degrees. Let's have a look, see if this gets around to the top section of our ribbon. So here's the sharper turn coming in. Okay, and we stop there and we just lessen the curve a bit now just to finish it off. So we're going to do one more loop here. So for I in range, and we're going 90 times again. Forward one and left 0 0.4 degrees again so same as what we did earlier on up here it's the same code and those th three loops combined should get us a nice little ribbon at the top of the page beautiful so that's the f oops sorry that's the first part done i'm just gonna do the second part over here now just realized I put this comment with the wrong name. It should say right ribbon. What we're going to do now is the left ribbon. So I guess we could do a copy and paste job here. So I am going to highlight what we've just done. Control C to copy it. Going down a little bit lower, I'm going to paste it in by pressing Control V. Now we're going to rename the comment to left ribbon. The pen up and it's the same. The go to though will need to be minus 10 and then 100 on the y axis. Pen down stays the same. Um, pen size is already set to 10, so we don't need that. We can actually delete that line. But we do want to add another line of code in here that says write 70. Uh, we just needed to turn our turtle around a little bit to get him starting in the right direction. Uh, now we've also got color red here, which we don't need scrap that because we've already got our color set to red and then we've got our three loops so let's have a look what we need to do here is keep the numbers the same but change the lefts to rights 
change all three of those lefts there to rights. Everything else stays the same. So when we test that now, let's see what happens. So there's the first part of the ribbon coming in nicely. We already know that works. And the second one is basically a, a mirror image of it. By changing those left to right turns, we get the opposite shape. So that looks pretty good. Last thing I want to do is just throw a message at the top that says um, something like Seasons Greetings. So let's put a hashtag in for a comment. Uh, we'll move to the coordinates that we want. So we're going to minus 160, which is over the left side of the page, and 210 for the y-axis. Pen's going to go down, and we're going to change our color over to white, like a Christmassy kind of color. And to write a message on the screen, we've done it before, but let's just do it again. We use the word write, and inside brackets, and quotation marks, write whatever it is you want to write. So I'm just going to write Seasons Greetings. And if you'd like to format your text a little bit, you can do it this way. You just put a comma and write font equals, and again inside brackets and quotation marks, pick your font. I'm just going to go with Arial, something fairly basic that's easy to read and is installed on most people's computers. You can change that up though to something a little bit more fancy. We'll put a comma and choose the size we want our font, so I'm going to go with 22. And if you want, you can also put another comma and stick bold in quotation marks just to make it a bit thicker. Make sure you close it off with two brackets at the end. We've got two sets of brackets on this line to close off. And that should do us. So the last line of code is just hiding the turtle. That little arrow type thing that draws all the pictures for us, that will just make it disappear. Let's have a squeeze. So we've got our gift part looking good. We know the ribbon works. So we've just got to wait this bit out. It is a little bit slow as it repeats itself some 270 times, I think. We should see the word season greetings appear at the top. There it is, Seasons Greetings. So, a cool little Christmas card created using Python's Turtle module.